Hello everyone, my name is Bill Sepulveda, K5LN, and your avid CW nut. Thanks for allowing me this opportunity to share with you my love for this great language called Morse code. As Morse code is no longer a requirement in the application for an amateur radio license, what a better way to start to learn about this language than by its history. We'll cover this topic in two parts. The first part will cover the history of Morse code and how it evolved to what it is today. We find it interesting and politically filled story. What was it that Samuel Morris actually created? Samuel Morris and his team created a Morris sending machine, which would write down numbers in a dot and dash format, which were identified for every word of the English language. A major issue with this format was that every operator had to have an up-to-date dictionary with all the numbers to translate into words, and it took a very long time to decipher the code. The other issue was the machine didn't work very well. It was redesigned to work by Alfred Vail, who was one of Samuel Morris's partners and contributor in the development of the telegraph. However, in 1837, as described in Morris's caveat, it states, that his machine has nothing in common with the code that we use today known as Morse code. So who created the Morse code? It was Alfred Vail and his associate William Baxter. They sat down and reviewed every letter used in the English language and wound up assigning a dot to the letter most often used which was the letter E. Then the next letter and so on until they came up with a configuration for each letter, number, and special character to use over the Morris wire communication system. Vail presented this new code to Morris and Morris submitted the patent that took full credit and became a wealthy man. The original creator of the Morris code, Alfred Vail, received no credit. In around the same time frame, 1837, William Cook and Charles Wheatstone in England began using an electrical telegraph that also used electromagnetics in its receivers. However, in contrast with any system of making sounds or clicks, their system used pointing needles that rotated above alphabetical characters to indicate the letters that were being sent. In 1841, Cook and Wheatstone built a telegraph that printed the letters from a wheel of typefaces struck by a hammer. This machine was based on their 1840 telegraph and worked well. However, they failed to find customers for this system and only two examples were ever built. After some evaluation, it was found that the operators could understand the sounds and translate the characters faster than the machines. In 1848, the Continental Code was created by Frederick Clemens Gerke and initially used in Germany for telegraphy between Hamburg and Cuxhaven. Gerke changed nearly half of the alphabet and all of the numbers resulting in the modern form of the code. Gerke perceived the disadvantage of the American Morse code and changed nearly half of it into the present form in the International Telegraph Alphabet. The original Morse code consisted of four different whole durations, the amount of time the key is held down, and some letters containing inconsistent internal durations of silence. In Gerke's system, there are only dits and das, with the ratio of three to one between the da and the dit, and the internal silence intervals equaling one dit duration. This new code was first adopted by the German Telegraphy Agency. However, after some minor changes, the International Morse Code was standardized at the International Telegraphy Congress in Paris in 1865 and was later made the standard by the International Telecommunications Union, the ITU. Morse's original code specification was limited in use to the United States and Canada and became known as American Morse Code, or Railroad Code. The American Morse Code is now seldom used except in historical reenactments. So, come back next time for part two, where we'll be covering keys and the keying evolution, what's available to learn this great language, and some operating basics. 
Until then, 73s, have a great time with amateur radio.